I can get to Gemini by going to gemini.google.com. And once I'm logged in, it gives you a few sample prompts to get you started, uh, just to kind of show you the types of questions. So let's say I'm a teacher and I'm looking for a lesson plan on the causes of the Civil War. So I could simply enter a prompt here that says, create a lesson and hit return. And it is going to generate this lesson for me. So it's gonna go through and it will continually work until it completes the lesson. Um, this is a full-fledged lesson. It's got a title, objectives, materials, procedure, warm-up activities, um, has time limits associated with each individual um, topic, and it even has an activity and what they're gonna do with some kind of closing discussion uh, and then an assessment piece that goes along with it. Now, the biggest difference between Gemini and Google searching or just using a standard search engine is the fact that Google Gemini allows you to uh, carry on a conversation. So it created a pretty nice lesson right off the fly without having to do a whole lot of work at all. But I can fine tune this by simply adding some more prompts or adding some other responses or continuing that conversation. So for example, I could say, uh, maybe I wanna make sure this is for an eighth grade level. So I could say for eighth graders. And it's going to take that exact same information and it's going to restructure it a little bit, might make it a little shorter, might make it a little bit different and generates it for a specific audience. Because again, I just simply told it to take that prompt that I originally started this conversation and continued that conversation by having it go through it. And it made together a 45 minute lesson. Maybe I need this to be a 30 minute lesson. So I could again, continue that conversation and simply say, make this a 30 minute lesson. And again, it's gonna take that same information and it's gonna go ahead and tweak it, adjust it to make it work. I could maybe say include specific things. Again, the better you are at writing prompts, the better results that you're gonna get. So I could ask for things like uh, include cooperative learning, personalized learning. And again, it takes that same information. Now it's still a 30 minute lesson where there's two different options for students to choose. Um, there is also now some kind of cooperative learning that's gonna be a part of this project because I've asked it to do so. Now again, it does a pretty nice job of putting all this together. I could take this and run with it. Or again, I can continue that conversation. Now, one of my favorite parts about Gemini is the fact that it's a Google tool and it works with other things Google. So for example, let's say I have this really cool lesson plan now, but I would like it to make a scoring guide or rubric to go along with this. So I could simply say, uh, create a rubric for this lesson. And it's gonna generate uh, a rubric that matches this exact same lesson. And again, I could keep going and I could say, uh, yeah, remove the participation uh, criteria, or I could say make it a four-point scale if I wanted to. And again, continue that conversation. Now, when I'm done down here at the bottom, there's an option that simply says export to sheets. When I click on export to sheets, it's actually going to take my uh, document and it's going to create a Google Sheet. It has a link to it right here. If I click open sheets, it takes that information and it puts it directly into a Google Sheet. Now it's gonna take a little bit of formatting to get it to look the way I want it to look. I also have a few buttons at the bottom of every conversation. I could tell it that this was a good response or a bad response. So Google Gemini and all chatbots are still brand new and this is something that uh, they are training to make them better. So I could choose to give this a good or bad response to tell uh, the developers that yes, this did a good job or no, this didn't do that great a job. Um, I can tell it to modify this response to simply make it shorter, longer, simpler, more casual or more professional. I could share this response by telling it to export the whole thing to Google Docs. This will take everything that I've entered here, the entire conversation, or send it as a draft directly into Gmail. Or if I simply hit the Google button, this will actually take this information and do a Google search for it. So I could actually have it search this information in Google to see if that information is indeed accurate. Or if I hit the three dots, I could simply tell it to copy. Now with every individual search that I do, there is also a button here for drafts. The drafts are 
different versions of the same exact information. So it pulled up the one it thinks is the best, but if I wanted to, I could simply click draft two, and now you'll notice draft one was on a emerging developing mastery scale for participation, understanding, collaboration. The second draft it created is the same topic, but now it is excellent, good, satisfactory, or needs improvement, um, and the criterion has changed a little bit. And then here again is a third one on a one, two, three, four scale. There is no uh, participation option anymore. Uh, it's just three different versions of the same thing, so I can pick and choose which one I like. Or I could simply hit this uh, arrow and tell it to regenerate these drafts and say, I don't like any of these, give me a different one, and it'll start all over. Now at any time, if I need to get back to a previous chat, I can simply hit these three lines in the upper left-hand corner. These will show me all of the different chats that I've created, and I can simply click on one to go ahead and jump back into it. And again, I can create a new chat anytime I want to start a new conversation. Now, Gemini does a great job of any kind of information that you need. If you want it to generate something, create something, but it can also do a lot more. So maybe I wanted to tell it to create an email apologizing to a parent for calling a student the wrong name. Now, I'm very careful here not to enter in any personally identifiable information. I'm not using the student's name, I'm not using my name or a parent's name, I'm just keeping everything really generic. And you'll notice it does create a nice simple email here. It's got placeholders in here for parent name, student name, etc., uh, where it goes through and gives me a nice little template. Uh, again, uh, if I wanted to, I could tell it to show me some different drafts of the same information, or I could continue the conversation. So I could, uh, again, click on my modify response here and say make this shorter or simpler. And it would take that exact same uh, response. And now I get a much simpler response, which again, I could either copy and paste directly in there or share and export directly into uh, another Google tool. So another really powerful tool of AI is the ability to summarize or be able to pull up main ideas. So let me create a new chat. And uh, I have a, a link here, this is a web link, that uh, talks about AI and um, how it works. And so it's got a lot of information here. There's a lot of jargon and information that I may not quite understand. So I could simply click and drag to highlight this information. Or I could actually take the web link and do a command C to copy, and then go into Gemini and tell it to summarize this article. And hit return, and it's gonna go through, it's gonna look at that information, and it's gonna give me a definition or, an, or a uh, summary of the main points of what this article is. And I could again continue the conversation and say, simplify this even more. I could tell it to make this a kindergarten level. And it's gonna go through and continually uh, adjust it and adapt it, whatever I need. I could also simply ask uh, Gemini to do comparisons. So I could say something like, what is the best 3D printer to buy for a school that is fast, prints, and great quality. And so it simply goes through and uses what it can find on the internet and it pulls up uh, different selections or different choices. Now one thing that's important to point out here is while it's really easy to want to simply copy and paste links or copy and paste information, you have to be very careful about where this information comes from. This is a website that's publicly available on the internet, but uh, if I was to copy and paste things from something like a textbook, or something like a, an online workbook or an online tool that requires me to log in or requires us to have a subscription, then chances are you do not own the copyright of that information. And when you enter it into a chat tool like Gemini or ChatGPT, then you're giving that information to that tool even though they don't have copyright uh, permission in order to be able to access it. So while it could be very tempting to wanna to take information from um, a district system or a district um, textbook that we pay for and have it do things with it. We cannot paste that kind of information into a chat tool. We have to keep it uh, separate. Now, you could also speak in somewhat generic terms. You could ask it to uh, write things or ask it for that same types of information, um, but not copy and pasting things directly from 
um, tools that we have paid for or that it does not own the copyright for. It's also important to point out that everything that you get from Gemini comes from the internet. So it may or may not be true. Uh, there is going to be some mistakes. There's going to be some information that is wrong in here. So make sure that you are reading through this information uh, before you choose to use it or not. Um, make sure that you are verifying any uh, information that it's providing when possible to make sure that the information there that it's giving you is accurate and true. Because again, it's just pulling it from the web, which may or may not have the most accurate information. So that's all there is to using Google Gemini.